Hey kids, Mr. Hammond. Today we're going to be learning about genetics and heredity. So at the top of the paper, you're going to go ahead and write genetics. And heredity. Got my dot for the eye. All right, well, genetics and heredity, it's really all about chromosomes. So we're going to put that right in the middle of our page, chromosomes. I'm going to go ahead and do some block lettering for fun. You don't have to do this. I just do this because I like the way it looks. So chromosomes are these things that are like blueprints for your body. And all of your cells have chromosomes in them. You get half from your mom and half from your dad. That's why we end up looking a little bit like our parents and having some of the same characteristics because these chromosomes contain on them something called genes. Now these aren't like genes that you wear. Those genes are fantastic too. These are genes that have instructions on them on how your body's supposed to work and build itself and grow they're basically blueprints for your body. Now, as humans, we have 46 chromosomes. Put that on there. 46. Now, every single organism has a different amount. And that's not really the most important thing to remember. Um, but I think it's kind of interesting. Like I forget, alligators have like a hundred and some. So the number of chromosomes does not indicate how intelligent you are. Um, it just indicates uh, that you're a certain type of creature because every creature has a different number of chromosomes. Okay, so almost all of your cells in your body have these. Almost all cells in your body have a set of chromosomes, 46. And again, they're blueprints, okay? They're blueprints or instructions for how you're built. And they contain traits on them, okay? They tell you things like hairstyle. So your chromosomes will have what color your, uh, what type of hair you might have, like if it's straight or curly or wavy. Uh, that's not a big deal for me because I have no hair left anymore, but my chromosomes could have told me that I would lose my hair in my, my 20s. Uh, chromosomes will tell you what eye color you're going to have, if we could read them. Chromosomes will say things about hair color. Chromosomes can tell what type of skin color you're going to have. Chromosomes can describe how tall you're going to get. Uh, chromosomes can tell you what type of, what's going to be your dominant hand. They can even tell other things scientists are finding out, like scientists are finding out that chromosomes could possibly predict like our chances of getting cancer when we get older or um, certain diseases, how prone we are to certain diseases. So there's a lot of information on chromosomes. And again, we get half from mom and half from dad. Dad contributes 23, mom contributes 23. And when those chromosomes come together, we have 46. Um, so let's go ahead and draw that down here. So we'll draw our dad down here, this triangular face, and his sharp, pointy, straight hair, okay? And we got a mom over here. with her wonderful curly hair, okay? And then we have our wonderful thing called an offspring. An offspring is what you and I are to our parents. An offspring is any organism that is born from other apparent organisms, okay? It's a good word to know. And we get traits from 
parents through their chromosomes. It's really pretty amazing that we as humans start out as such small insignificant things and then develop into be such amazing organisms. So dad, a, a chromosome kind of looks like this over here. I should probably draw that. This would be a full looking chromosome. And on it, we've got these things called genes. And there's tons of genes and they carry traits like blue eyes. All right, and so there's all these traits on, on these chromosomes that will tell us different things. Like this one maybe would tell us that, hey, we've got blue eyes. This one may do skin color. Okay. But again, mom and dad both contribute 23 of these chromosomes. Dad contributes half. Mom contributes half. And when we put them together, we get a full chromosome, and those contains the genes and the traits that make us who we are. Now, we're gonna learn more about this as we go because dad's gonna contribute his gene for eye color, mom's gonna contribute her gene for eye color through the chromosomes, but one of those eye colors is what we actually show in our bodies. So we're gonna start learning next about how some genes will dominate other genes and cover them up. So you could have a hidden gene for blue eyes, but you show brown eyes. So we'll learn a little bit more about that in our next video. But this is just the basics, beginnings of heredity. Um, and that's the whole study of how traits uh, are passed down from our parents to offspring and um, appear in us. So it's really quite interesting. Okay, uh, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and color. So that's uh, something if you wanna do, if you don't wanna do it, I get it, it's only optional.